Hi, John Alexander here, and in this video we're going to show you how to use MapRite to create um, basically a uh, polygon which gives you a 3D depth perception of a lot. So once you uh, have this lot, you can then just grab these pictures with a screenshot and be able to add this to uh, an array of pictures that you have that you're going to list with. So, you know, it's all about finding the right angles. And then grabbing that shot, you know, that is going to help sell your property. So, to do that, we begin by um, finding our lot, basically, in MapRite. Now, I've already found a lot, and then I have... Uh, using the selector tools that we're all familiar with already inside MapRite, we uh, just make sure our, our uh, captured area for the, or not captured, but our outline is for that lot that we want to do. And from there, we, we're going to go ahead and, of course, we need to save that map. Once it's saved, we can go ahead and exit out of MapRite. And then we'll have that map here. So this is uh, the acreage that we're going to do that we're going to use. Now, what we first have to do is we have to convert that file uh, to a, a KML file, and it doesn't automatically. That's the great part about this. And so all you have to do is just download load this KML file. It's already been created for you. So every time you are every time you create any kind of map, you always have access to shape files or a uh, GS, you can add stuff to the file, etc. But all we're going to do is download this KML file. So we will download it and um, I'll say it's, use the same name. And then what we'll do is Earth Pro. So what you need to do, of course, is download the Google Earth Pro uh, first and then open it up. Once you get in here, what you're going to do is you're going. Uh, what we're going to do is just simply go to that file that we that we downloaded. So it's right here, and all you have to do is click on that downloaded file, and it's automatically going to open it up into the Google Earth, and the shape will already be there. So um, it's kind of already done for you. You can already see this is like a 3D side of a mountain type of thing and by holding down your shift key uh, you can then hold this spot you see where that little spot comes in wherever your mouse is and then you can uh, drag it with your mouse and get a you know kind of a different look to it but for right now I want to go ahead and go straight up and down so I can kind of get a a good polygon uh, or, or a good shape for my polygon so we'll come up here to the polygon tool hit add and we'll name this 1.69 acres is what it actually is. And then we'll go ahead and start drawing out the lot. Now you can still use your mouse and come in a little bit and out, but I'm going to try and shape it up so I get everything right here where I can where I can uh, draw, leaving this window open at the same time. So I'm going to click on this corner. Click on that corner and just start clicking the corners and it will start drawing the shape out for you. Now sometimes you might have to come back in and, and because you have a curve, you can go ahead and curve it, you know, along with that line to keep your map fairly close. And at that point, it's completed the polygon. All right. So now we're just going to move our mouse back over here and go ahead and make our adjustments. So what we'll do first is we'll go into um, color, and I've just selected these two colors here. And you can select any colors you want, really. Uh, so those are my favorite colors. And then we're going to come over here to um, uh, altitude. And what we want to do is change this one right here. So it says clamped to ground by default. So what we're going to do is unclamp it so we can raise this polygon up. And we're going to go ahead and put relative 
to ground and then we're going to slide this we're going to enable it to come off that ground a little bit and slide this over a little bit and uh, let's see that's three meters so um, now let's try that first now what I'm going to do is go ahead and and hit OK for now okay and now I'm gonna go now all, all my polygon drawing tools are gone as you can see my hand is back and I'm gonna go ahead and now shift it out and start to look at look at the you know what I've drawn here which kind of gives you a good indication of the shape of that land and the height as well so it's laid the bottom along the bottom of the ground and then it's raised straight up giving you a really good uh, view of this and you can again using your shift button you, you can you can turn it in circles or um, you can simply move it back and forth so now what you're really trying to do is to try to figure out what is a good angle uh, some of the things I try to do is if there's houses around it I try to get the houses because you know any kind of population can help uh, people kind of determine oh you know there, there are places there now I'm going to use just my mouse button I mean my mouse wheel and wheel it back to get some different angles uh, shift again and try to see what might be a good angle sometimes that sky really makes it look nice so you can uh, again play around with it until you find that angle you want now if you need to if you need to come back in and this is so deceptive because it doesn't really show the, the depth of that lot so I think most of but you know you might take it might take a figure out a good picture here just to kind of give the lay of the of the land um, and so again you can that's all the little village and cleared land down here I think that would make a great picture so if I had screenshot this whole thing that could be one of the pictures that I want to place into uh, my array of pictures and then I'm going to go ahead and back out with my mouse button now from here just to get even a wider view of what this area looks like um, and so that might be a good picture as well so again you you have your close-ups and then you can come back out and take a look at it from uh, and get a little depth of the lay of the land now I'm going to go back in there just to show you how you can still play around with the depth maybe your your height is off so what you do is you come back in here and you um, uh, right click on on the uh, main button here and it'll be one of these okay let's go back to the other one instead right click properties there it is so we've got the out altitude again we can come back in there and if we want to lower it a little bit we can right or we can raise it up so it's just you know until you get to that height that kind of works and that back I want to show some back background so I think that was the right height that, that I had it out had it at originally and um, then on the colors okay when you do the colors you also have this uh, opacity rating over here so you can change that opacity rating let's say we wanted to uh, let's say we wanted to change the color a little bit. I don't know. Let's try this blue. I've never done a blue before, but now now it's or whatever color I just changed it to. I'm not sure. I'm colorblind. Sorry, folks. And uh, but now you can play with the opacity, raising it up. Obviously, at 100, it's going to be totally blocked in, almost useless at that point. I was using 35 there. Let's do 50. Um, um, I think 35 was kind of what I liked and kind of was playing around with whoops just by touching that you see what I did I just threw it so you've got to be careful when you're in here with um, with your tool showing the polygon because it does raise that and and uh, will corrupt your file okay so I'm just I'm not saving that or, or anything I'm just going to go back just if I close the window and don't don't save then it you know it'll go back to the way I had it which is fine anyway I hope this helps you adapt and use this polygon tool uh, from the map using the map right as your base KML file.